Hi everybody, I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is a reading for my Aries. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Today is April the 10th. Let's see what the tarot has for you guys today. First and foremost, I feel like you're in your own energy here. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, say the Aries individual. They're saying that you're seeking emotional fulfillment and happiness in your life. They said that's what will make you extremely happy. Um, I see here you need to use your intuition in regard to some things that are taking place within your life. Wanting that new beginning, wanting new love, wanting doors and an opportunity to open up to you. But for some reason you feel like you missed out on an opportunity with someone here. And you was in your emotions in regard to it for a very long time. Kept going through your mind, in fact, in regard to this situation. Felt like you was carrying a heavy load. Right? Right. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. They're saying that there's a Scorpio Cancer Pisces individual here. That could have caused you a lot of heartache and pain. They could have betrayed you. They could have did some fuck foul shit to you here. Um, or it could be somebody who's just emotional who has those kind of qualities, but it could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries that you could have been dealing with. And it's somebody from the past that you was in a lover's relationship with here. There's a Gemini card here too. But this person wants to come back into your life to cause more confusion. I feel like you're going to be accepting toward this person. Y'all going to celebrate and have fun and all that good shit. Woo! Then you're going to have sex. It's going to be heated and hot and all that good shit. And you're going to think it's wonderful. It's on again. It's popping. Hot sex. And you think it's going to be great for you. But you know what's going to happen? It's all cheating. You know, some of y'all already in a relationship with somebody already, but you want to go out and have sex with somebody else, huh? Just can't keep your drawers up, huh? Can't get, can't keep them panties on. You're fucking out of both legs, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody going to find out about it and it's going to be hell to pay in regard to this situation. You can't fuck around with people's heart and play with them and think that it's okay. I feel like once this person causes this commotion within your life, they're going to walk away from your ass once again, give you your ass, give you their ass a kiss, and they're going to keep it moving. going to leave you in your mind thinking this shit. They're going to have you feel like, damn, you've been stabbing your back again? Yes, because you fell for the last deception and deceit. All this secrecy, all this shit that you're doing, it's going to come out in the open. Yes, it is. could be dealing with the cancer. Remember, anything that's here in the dark, the moon is too big for not to, yeah, the moon, to hide the secrets and things like that. The sun going to illuminate it, though. It's going to show you what's really going on. Show people what's really going on. They show people who you really are in regard to some things. Hmm. Yep, you're going to be feeling very guarded in your mind and shit. <laughs> yep. Feeling trapped, not being able to move, not being able to get out of a situation. Ass going to be kicked out in the curve in regard to some things. You think you have plenty of friends, huh? You don't. You have a lot of enemies surrounding you. And they talk about your ass like a dog behind your back. See this communication? It's all aimed at you. Look at that. All these arrows are coming at you. Communication, that's about you. People talking about you or talking at you, one. I mean, you know, shit. Talking about, look how stupid you are. Look how dumb you are. Look look at this. They think they're getting over it. But look, I'm telling you, the universe is ready to deal with you, and they're going to deal with you. It's all a matter of time. This is the time card. Mm -hmm. Keep fucking around. Keep fucking around. You see that? It looks like they're opening up a vagina, but in actuality, it's not. It's the snake's mouth. If you see right here, that's a snake. That's the that's a snake and that's the the mouth of the snake, but it looks like a vagina. That means that somebody's definitely having a lot of sex, but it's all a matter of time. I feel like somebody's definitely gonna have some type of disease here from fucking around on somebody and they ain't gonna be able to get rid of it. I also feel that should you're gonna be wishing and hoping for balance to come into your life. But see you standing on a sword, so that means that you won't clan in truth to come into your life, but um you can't handle the truth. You want a new beginning, huh? You want to just pretend like none of that really happened. But you know, karma got to take care of your ass first before you can move on to something else. You know that, right? I do see you want to birth out something new. Inside. In regards to somebody um, fucking around, somebody going to be pregnant too because this is the Empress card. 
person is pregnant and walking away and also have another baby too. So somebody could be dealing with somebody who they've been dealing with for a long time. They already had one baby. You went back to the ass. You cheated on somebody else that you was with and now you're pregnant the fuck again. Hello. Hmm. You want things to work out in your favor? I don't know if it's all in the stars for you. What the fuck is wrong, Aries? I mean, it is what it is. Remember, Tara's about you as somebody you're dealing with. Get in where you're fitting with that. All right, Aries? I'm mean, supposed to be a blessing. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. And have a truly, truly best day. Make your own personal reading with me. You can always call me before 722-757-23. Thank you so very, very much. Remember, cheating, getting caught, lies, deception, and deceit will always cause you to have hell to pay in regard to some things. And things will not balance out for you. They will only get worse. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know who somebody walking along with. I mean, their spirits. They get fed up with the things that you do. And then you have hell to, hell to pay in regard to some things. You wonder why your blessings are being cut short? It's because you're treating somebody fucked up that you should be treating good. It is what it is. I'm out, you guys. Thank you.